morning. Hello everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to a chill, cosy vlog at home. <laughs> when this goes live, and if you're watching it when it goes live, happy start of the summer solstice. I think that's what it is. Oh, it looks a bit dark, doesn't it? It looks a bit miserable. It's raining today, of course it is. Let's, let's sort that out. Get a bit of warmth going on. Happy start of spring summer. If you're in that part of the world where you're watching this, when this goes live, the start of the summer solstice, daylight saving is happening. So we've gone back an hour and we've got lighter days, longer days. Ah, oh, honestly, I know so many people hold out for this time of year and I am that person. Like genuinely, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate that we have all seasons here in England. We have spring, we have summer, but it feels like this winter has been long like it's been cold it's been rainy we've had some serious snow and i'm like bring on the brighter days hopefully fingers crossed we don't have a summer like last year because cast your mind back to me doing nothing but complain about how hot it was <laughs> but anyway i'm not gonna sit and talk about the weather in this video actually when i'm filming this and this has gone live we will be in wiltshire and bath and I didn't want to leave you guys without a Sunday video. So I was like, do you know what? I just feel like I want to have a little bit of a chat, talk through some things that I've been loving, make some breakfast with you guys, just have a super chill, like just chat because I love those types of videos and I hope you do too. I keep on looking over there because what I can currently see is genuinely melting my heart. Ah, I love her so much. Look at this little doggo. Ah, she's like, dad, why are you filming me when I'm sleeping? That's really weird. <laughs> Oh my god, she melts my heart. Yeah, you make yourself comfy, kid. There we go. That's the badger. So my mum actually was in town this week. Uh, we were celebrating Mother's Day and I was gonna vlog, but I just, I, I'm, I, when I say this, I adore my job. I love what I do. I love you guys so much, like the comments you leave. I feel like we've got like a massive family online and I just genuinely adore it. I sometimes struggle to not film everything, whether that be on Instagram or on YouTube and you know, I don't get to see my mum often enough. So I really just wanted to like have some good quality time with her without having to like think about picking up the camera and she doesn't mind and she, I mean she loves it, she's fully supportive of it but it was just super nice and super lovely to just have some me and her time and we went to Greenwich with Sarah and her parents actually came and stayed the night because they were flying to Milan so it was just a really like lovely hectic couple of days and we just had a great time. So I thought I'd talk to you about uh, a couple of books and also some TV bits. I'm gonna make this like a March favourite things that I've been loving. So yeah, I hope we're in the mood for that. Let me go grab some books. There we are. So I have four books that I'm gonna talk about. I know I've spoke about a lot this year about wanting to read more and I am really sticking to that and so is Zara. We're really trying to like get our screen time less and be present and just kind of like read and just relax. I feel like current affairs and news is just not where it's at. So rather than picking up a newspaper on the tube, we're picking up a book instead. So I'm currently reading Lessons in Chemistry and I am absolutely loving this. I have literally like a few pages left. So I feel like I can give a full review on this. Phenomenal, so, so good. Bonnie Garmus is a brilliant author. It's fast paced. It's really focusing on the feminine view and role in society in the 60s and how much you wish and hoped it changed and still it's very relevant in today's world. And um, it's like subtle feminism, but beautifully written to the point where you just want to like scream. <laughs> Such a good read. It focuses on a woman who's a chemist. So she really has a turbulent career change from being a chemist in a lab in a male dominated world to being a TV chef. And let's just say she makes the role her own. Fantastic, can't recommend it enough. Zara just finished this book, which is called Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. I haven't read this, but it's on my to read list. She read this in five days. She said it was that good, like so many twists and turns. She said she literally gasped out loud on the tube when she read this, so I'll report back, but she thoroughly recommended it. An ingenious plotted murder mystery. Zara loves this type of book, so I would definitely recommend that. This is all over the Waterstones tables when we walked in as like a book to read now. And now two new titles, both of which I have not read. The first one, my mum actually got me this at the weekend when she was with me. So this is called Black Cake. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this in like reviews, 
it is summarized as an incredible family saga spanning 60 years about secrets and inheritance. It says, when her estranged children, Benny and Byron, reunite for her funeral, they receive an unexpected inheritance. First, a traditional Caribbean black cake to remind them of their roots. Secondly, a story of a decade old murder that shatters everything they thought they knew about their mother, which sounds very, very good. So I'm excited to read this. I think this is gonna be my next read. And that's by author Charmaine Wilkerson. Wilkerson? Yeah, Wilkerson. And then finally, this is a new one called The Reading List by Sarah Nisha Adams. Now I picked this up in a Covent Garden bookstore, which was so cool. I really would recommend Visit and that. Um, they've relocated. It's one of the oldest bookstores in London, so I'll link that down below. This was finalist for Goodreads Choice in 2021. Fiction, it says, when Merkesh Patel pops to a local library forgetting her routine of grocery shopping and David Attenborough documentaries, he has no idea that his life is about to change. He meets a reluctant librarian, a keeper of a curious reading list that just a scrappy piece of paper with the names of nine books. Doesn't seem anything special, yet something tells her to keep it close. So I can, I just feel like it's gonna be a nice, light, easy read. And I popped this on my Instagram and a few people replied to say it was a very good read. So that is my current reading list, what I am reading and what I'm about to move on to. I think I need to make some breakfast. Time is currently 10.30 and I've only had a smoothie. I think we're gonna need to make some pancakes. I have never had so many comments about this pancake mix. When I went to Costco, so many of you guys were like, we have that in the US, we have that in Canada and it's good. So I was like, thank God, because <laughs> I feel like I bought something that was like so frowned upon. But you guys were all like, yes, it's delicious. It is. I've already had some. I made some of these when my mom was here and she loved them too. Literally, you just mix water. It's just water and pancake mix. And this is four and a half kilos of pancake mix. So we're going to be we're gonna be eating this for a while, but I'm gonna do some blueberries and maple syrup. So um, yeah, let's make some pancakes. And this is definitely a March favorite because oh, pancakes are life. I feel like a true American this morning. I've got myself a black coffee and these pancakes with some maple syrup, blueberries, and icing sugar, or you guys would call that powdered sugar. Look how good they look. Ah, I'm so excited. Gonna dig on in. How gorgeous are these peonies? I got these at a little florist with some tulips, and I just feel like, oh, I'm really trying to bring in the spring energy, you know? <laughs> these pancakes are, guys, I'm seeing it. Like, I thought I had my pancake recipe down to a tea, but there is something in this. I probably don't even want to know what is in this, but the just the batter is perfect. Mmm, like the fluffiest pancakes ever. It'd be hard pushed to order pancakes when I was out in a restaurant, unless I knew they were really good, because if I know I can make them this good at home, mm, with Canadian maple syrup and a black coffee, what a way to start the day. Pancakes were delicious. I'm gonna pop on a little jacket now. The weather's actually improving. Stopped raining, so I'm gonna take Maggie for a walk. Although she's currently not looking like she wants to go for a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> I think you've got a big yawn coming. There it is. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Come on. Another favorite I definitely have to mention is Vinted. I've spoke about Vinted before on this channel, but I actually picked up this hat. So it's a full wool uh, North Face hat. I swear by North Face. All of this stuff is such good quality and it keeps you really warm and snug. Um, so yeah, I got some Vinted for like 10 pounds. They usually retail for about 25. So good. Also Zara recently got a Longchamp bag. Yeah, on Vinted. I think the retail for like 250 pounds a certain type and she got it for 50 pounds. Vinted is the one guys, I'm telling you. I list on there regularly as well. Also, these are a game changer. These were like viral online for a certain time. You couldn't get them at all. They are a crossbody like nylon zip bag from Uniqlo and you can fit so much in them like genuinely look how much that expands. I have these in black and also like a stone color. So this is my dog walking outfit. It's really hard to show but yeah I put like Maggie's ball, her treats, keys, everything in, poop bags. So yeah let's go for a walk.
have to include this in things I've been loving throughout March. I have loved Ludovico Einaudi for as long as I can remember. He's one of the best pianists ever. And this is kind of like music that I listen to when I'm walking, Maggie. I've just got out here. <laughs> this is one of my favorite songs. It's called Dietro Casa, and it's absolutely incredible. He actually did a concert at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, I think it was this year or maybe last, and I really wish I got tickets, but I didn't manage to find them. But genuinely, this music just is, it soothes my soul and it has done for years. I got me through university, incredible. I'm quite a reflective person and I think it's important to reflect. And this is the exact tree I was sat at in summer. But this train has gone past behind. And um, it makes me quite emotional to think back to how I felt at that time and how I currently feel now, I feel like it's just been a massive development in a lot. Um, I feel like a lot more emotionally aware and I feel a lot more at peace with how I feel and how I did fe feel and how I currently feel. And I'm happier, I really feel happier. It's a little moment like this, just listen to some music and some fresh air with Maggie. These are my happy times. Okay, I'm back from the walk and I have worked up an appetite. <laughs> I went to the gym this morning and like I sweated my life away so I feel like I am in need of like a feel like a feel good substantial lunch. So this is like a collection of things I got from um, an oriental supermarket which I visited in my last vlog so I'll link that up top if you missed that. But I'm gonna do some hot and spicy noodles. So I'm gonna cook those in this pan. This is a really good steam pan. I know I mentioned the hex clad ones before and I'm loving them. They get really hot so this one's awesome because it's got a steamer in it. So this is by Ninja. So I'm gonna steam some vegetable gyoza in the top and then I'm gonna cook the noodles with some frozen cabbage. This is just white cabbage that we had left over from the weekend with some crispy chili on top, some chili and garlic, and I'm gonna have it with some kimchi. Lunch is served. This smells so, so good. I've just finished off some kimchi, which is like a pickled cabbage with chili, gyoza. I'm so excited to dig into this. And I've got my little spoon. Oh, it makes me so happy. And I'm gonna sit and watch the piano as I eat this. This is such a feel good show. I absolutely love it. It's on Channel 4 in the UK. I'm not sure if it's available globally. The show where Lang Lang, who is one of the best pianists in the world, and Mika, who's like obviously a really famous performer um, are on the hunt for the UK's best pianist. So they travel around different train stations because here in England, I think it might be globally actually, usually they're in like airports and stuff. Um, but across the UK, they have pianos in train stations. So if you can play the piano, you can just use it. It's like a public piano. They don't know that these guys are actually listening to them from a separate, like separate location, sorry. They just go and perform. They've had people with um, learn difficulties on there. They had children. They've had people play together. It's been such a lovely wholesome show So definitely recommend watching that because if you can it's just feel good Oh my goodness guys one of the people who was playing is just playing the song I was listening to by Ludovico and Audi Wow He plays it beautifully as well. I can't tell if it's the chili or the piano playing I cannot wait, I'm putting it out there, I cannot wait for the day that we get a piano. <laughs> Prepare yourself guys, because that's all you're going to see me do. <laughs> oh, that was stunning. I need to get a grip. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, it looks like we've got a second dog, that's our doorstop. <laughs> Hi darling, hello. Lunch was delicious, I've just made myself a coffee. I thought I'd wrap up some March favourites with some fragrances because I love talking about fragrances. It's one of like the things I really am quite passionate about. For me, sense of smell. Like I associate smells with memories. So I actually attended a event with Penn Halligans uh, last night to celebrate the launch of High Grove Bouquet, which is a new fragrance. And it's all about the magical gardens of Highgrove, which is where King Charles III lives. So we actually went to the launch of this last night in Covent Garden and they very, very kindly let me take a bottle haul. It also supports the Princess Foundation, which was founded by King Charles III, formerly known as the Princess Trust. And 10% from every sale of this fragrance goes towards the Princess Foundation. If you aren't familiar with Penhaligans, you are going to absolutely fall in love with the brand. So this is the bottle. 
It's one of the most beautiful scents. All of Penhagen's fragrances are aimed at being unisex. However, some generally lend themselves to being more feminine fragrances. This is definitely one of them. I think it's an absolutely beautiful fragrance. I brought it home, I let Zara smell it, and I said, look, that's yours. If you would like it, it's my gift to you because, oh, it is, it's the most floral. It has like honeysuckle, citrus. It's really taken inspiration from the gorgeous High Grove Gardens. So that's a gift to Zara, and she is very, very grateful. She wore it this morning before she left to work, and I got a little waft of it, I was like, it smells amazing. It's actually fragrance week when I'm filming this, which I didn't know was a thing. And um, the Creed got in touch and sent over a bottle of Creed Aventus Cologne. Now, if you are familiar with Aventus, it's one of their like standout scents. And um, I actually smelled this a few years ago. I went to the launch of it in the Tate Modern uh, back in 2019. And it's just a, such a, again, a beautiful scent, really masculine, really like musky, really, it has like fresh verbena under notes, but you only need like a couple of sprays and it genuinely lasts. So it's absolutely stunning as well. I appreciate these are very quite premium fragrances, uh, but obviously a little goes along with like that bottle will last you way over a year. So two quite special fragrance brands with a lot of history and heritage, one in London and one in France. I hope you've enjoyed the format of this video. I really have missed talking about things that I've loved throughout a month. Um, and yeah, happy end of March when this is going up. It's going to be April so soon. We're talking Easter. So much to look forward to this year. It's going to be magical. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, as always, let me know down below what you've been loving throughout March, throughout the year, because it's always nice to chat and see what people have been enjoying, reading, watching, listening to, and everything in between. But yeah, lots of love to you all. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.